Another elbow up. Okay, because it's something that can't happen. All right, the defense to an arm bar is get that elbow pass. It's easiest way to take care of it. And I'm already putting his elbow in there pretty close to escaping, right? With our standard arm bar here, I'm pulling his elbow up nice and high, got, getting that control. Now it's a lot longer distance for him to get that elbow up, okay? This is a much quicker hitter. All right, I don't have nearly the time to mess around with it if I start losing it, okay? When I pop those wrists and I block that elbow, I gotta go for it. I'm not wasting time, right? So today we're breaking it down to step by step, but when I start drilling these, all right, and I'm trying to attack it, I get it moving and I'm blocking, I'm going right for it. I'm not taking the time to block, grab. By, by now John's already passed and probably submitted, okay? Way too long. I get, as soon as I get that breakdown, his elbows across, I swing those hips out and I go for it, right? But again, him pulling that elbow out is a possibility. If I have to set it up slow and it, that's the way it's going, that's fine, I have other options. So first one we're gonna do is a very simple one. It's when John goes and hulks out of it. I go for my arm bar here, boom. John hulks his arm out, I wrap my leg around the other side. Gra go back to grabbing the head and I'm gonna step on his hip with my free leg. Get my hips up nice and tight. Leg across, grab the shin, underhook the leg, and I try. Okay, whether John explodes way up into the air or whether he just inches it out. Either way, if he pulls his arm all the way out, I can triangle. All right, so I block the elbow and I arm bar. He pulls the arm out. Boom, back to the other side. Go get his head. Head, shin. First two steps, most important steps. Anything else is secondary. If I can't break his posture, I'm not gonna finish this, right? If I'm just holding onto that arm, I'm just, no, no, it's done. I gotta, I gotta go to plan oh shit, all right? Cause I've lost everything else. So I gotta go get that head. Once I got the head, I grab the shin to secure it. Now I don't need to control the head nearly as much because all my weight's on the back of his neck. I can step on the hip like I should, get my hips out so that only his shoulder and his head are in and then I lock it up. I want to keep my foot on his hip as long as possible, okay? When I don't, when I start tripping out here, a lot of times guys will fall over, okay? I can still finish this, but it's a lot harder. It sucks for John, but he's still conscious, right? <laughs> exactly, okay? And now, yes, I can go back to an arm bar. There's a bunch of things I can do from here, but why deal with that if I can just make him go to sleep? So I want to keep that foot on his hip as long as I can to get my angle. Then I can lock it up and finish. Okay. All right. Any questions? So exactly what we were doing, just doing, hitting that arm bar, guy on top, rip that arm all the way out. Okay? Now when you're in a match, take this as my advice to never ever rip your arm all the way out <laughs> unless you're prepared. Okay? We, there, there are other options where we can, we can defend without pulling that arm all the way up and giving it ourselves uh, the, the vulnerability. Okay, so we rip our arm out, then the guy on the bottom, go get the head, grab your shin, get your angle, finish trying. Got it? Questions? One, two, three.